so this is a nothing but the H DNA is nothing but a triplex DNA or DNA with a triple helix structure so it is a slight modification of this triple helix DNA as we can see this this is formed due to the intra uh, internal hydrogen uh, inter uh, 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 strand interaction, intra strand interactions like that. So, what we can find in this case, as we can see, uh, so these are the two common, uh, as, as we can see, common hydro, uh, DNA. So, you have 5 prime uh, here, the green, and you have the 3 prime of the green, and you have a 3 prime here, and a 5 prime of, of something like this here. So here we have something. Here this is another five prime. You can say now what happens? This is uh, the straight DNA molecule. As we can see, what can be possible that uh, the, this DNA molecule, uh, due to the some structural stress or something like that, from particular region, it can be bent. So where from where it is bending? Uh, here is, is the joint which is shown uh, shown here, which is the joint between this blue and yellow colored uh, ring, uh, yellow colored uh, length. And from here, uh, this is the this is the bending. And from here on, uh, so this is the same strand as we can see as you can follow from here this 3 prime 5 prime strand we can see this is the same strand and the same strand is bending so if I follow this strand uh, from here li like this so here we have the same strand it is coming down and down and down up to here so as you can see up to here in the previous times we have two strands interacting together like uh, we can find in common DNA but whenever uh, w the strand is bending start to bend then e here is another extend the extension of the strand it start to coil with the double stranded DNA so it is a previously double stranded DNA and now the same stretches of DNA uh, which is a yellow in color or denoted with yellow in, in this picture start to interact with this double strand DNA so this is another single strand will interact with this double strand to make a triple strand of DNA as you can see so this part of the uh, total DNA structure this region of the total DNA structure uh, we find three DNA three DNA strands are uh, winding with each other to make this triplex structure as I have told before then whole stretches of DNA is not made up with this triplex DNA structure in few part in some region of the DNA we can find this structure so in this case the making of this H DNA uh, we have to have a bending in DNA structure so the bending is really really important to make this kind of structure now if we look at the molecule molecular level of the, the less uh, complex of the schematic presentation we can find that from here on we have a bending and after the bending so this is this is the line of 3 prime DNA that we can follow from uh, in this previous picture so here we have in this bending now this bent DNA start to interact with this previous DS DNA so this is the DS DNA this is the SS DNA uh, I've talked before they will interact to make uh, the strands, uh, this triple helical strand, what you can find here. So this region is a triple helical strands. Okay, so that's why, uh, uh, as we know, this triple helix can be formed not only by interaction of two DNA, as we've seen before. Uh, that that we have two DNAs and this part will come here and in this uh, second picture. So here we have some structure like this and this. So here we have the triplex DNA. Not only here on the triplex DNA can be formed, but also using same DNA strand that you can see here, the sli uh, using slightly bending of the DNA strand, we can form this kind of triple helices. And this kind of DNA is called the H DNA, and this DNA is being formed because uh, because of the intra strand interactions. Okay, so that's it. Now, what are the functions of this H DNA? As you know, this uh, polypurine, uh, as you can see in this case, most of the time this d this kind of DNA is formed uh, due to the presence of the repeated sequence, like you can see A G A G A G A G sequence like that. And you have C T C T C T. So it's a repeated sequence of polypurine, as you can see in this place A G A G A G A G. So that is a remarkable feature for making this hydrogen, uh, this H DNA. So two things, one we uh, three things actually. One is uh, it's a uh, interaction. Between Intra, uh, str intra uh, strand uh, of DNA. Second thing, it, it we have to have a bend to make this kind of structure. Third thing, it has it is not made it throughout the whole structure of DNA. It can be found only into a particular stretches of DNA. Fourth thing, we need to have a, a polypurine residue. If I delete all this, all these inks here. Now you can see we are having a polypurine residues here, which is AG, 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 AG. In the opposite, we have the poly uh, pyrimidine residues. 
to inter to interact together to make a structure like this. So if we n we are not having a structure of polypurin and polypyrimidin here, the this kind of DNA cannot be formed. So that is another important assumption. Now this uh, this potential triple helical regions are especially common near sequences involved in gene regulation. So that's why the the formation of this hydro uh, this hDNA sorry this is not a hydrogen DNA this is hDNA uh, th th that is really really important. It has been proposed that hDNA play a role in RNA synthesis too, but it is proposed only. Uh, much more research has to be done on this particular topic, but. Uh, it has been seen in several different occasions that uh, this hDNA can be found largely uh, in uh, in uh, the common places where we have the sequence in, uh, involved in gene regulation most importantly in case of uh, eukaryotic cells. Now uh, we can also find this hDNA in the initiation and the termina termination uh, points of replication and you can also find them in recombination as, we, as I have showed you before. Okay.